it is Women's Month, so all month long here on Double M, we are giving out flowers to our beautiful women who deserve them. There's so many women. The list goes on. The last episode, you know, I spoke about how moms deserve flowers. Shout out to all the moms out there. I uh, spoke highly about my mom. She gave me a little shout out for showing the YouTube page. Thanks, mom. <laughs> and uh, Marv, who did you bring up again? I'm, I'm, I'm Amanda find Grossman. Out. Amanda Young, Amanda. the young woman who spoke up in the inaugural. Yes, yes. So we're giving out flowers, like I said. So as we have our guest here, Sherrod, we want to open the floor up to you to give out flowers during this great Women's History Month. Is there anybody you would love to give flowers out to? Well, you, you know what? When we when we think about women in history and and, and that we, we tend to focus on uh, those individuals of the past, uh, folks who have blazed trails, who've done really amazing things, whether it's in our own personal lives or whether it was in the lives of, of others. And 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 I'm I'm a little bit different like that. Uh, I I think that there are some amazing women in the world of sports right now who are doing things that I think are absolutely game changers. Uh, one person that I would single out uh, is Jamel Hill. I think mm -hmm. what she is doing as an entrepreneur, uh, as someone who is creating jobs for other people of color, uh, as someone who is changing the way we look at uh, being an entrepreneur in, in the journalism world, in the digital space, uh, that is someone who is doing what so many of us frankly, are being called to do. And that has changed the lives of others around us in a better way. Uh, and we're and doing it in multiple ways. So she's someone that I would love to make sure she got her flowers because she really is uh, be, being the change that she wants to see and not the change that we talk about. Um, that's that next level grown stuff uh, mm -hmm. when you can be the change and not talk about it. Uh, that's that's how she rolls. And I roll with her. Uh, and, and so, yeah, that's the one I would I would definitely give some flowers to. Yeah, I, I, I love everything Jamel Hill stands for. Um, just following her when she was at ESPN. And then when when she eventually left in her own podcast and the show that she has now with Carrie Champion and always mm -hmm. being real. Ever since she's been on on the screen, she's always kept it 100 and been herself. And she's been an influence for me as well. So I love that. Shout out to Jamel Hill for sure. Yeah. yeah, her her outspokenness to me is huge. I love that she's always willing, ready to speak out on every and anything. That's what I really take away from her Fairly. so much. Right, and 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 I would I would again be remiss if, if I didn't just come clean uh, with, with me and Jamel in our in our relationship. I've known Jamel since she was in college. Um, she was actually my first mentee, and I can just tell you right now. It didn't go over well when we first met each other. Uh, <laughs> it did not go well at all. Uh, she had came into the newsroom and uh, I had some issues with how she was dressed. Uh, she had on jeans and she had on uh, this like football mesh jersey. And I just my first thought was not she this person. And first of all, her name, Jamel Hill. I One of my friends in high school, his name was Jamel. And so first time I saw her, I saw her from the back. So I thought it was a dude. <laughs> Gene, Master Jersey. And so when I see him walk through here, I get out of my seat. I'm, 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 I'm like, like, I'm about to straighten this brother out before he get up he came <laughs> in the newsroom looking all jacked up. And so then I, I, I come around and then I see the face and I'm like, oh, damn, this is this is she female. <laughs> but I, you know what? I went too far. I, I was not turning back now. So I went in and uh, Jamel gave me what I can only describe as the, you are not my daddy look, um, which as a young cat then had never seen that before. It felt kind of icky. I, 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 I felt like violated over that look. She really, she lit into me with them eyes. And over time, she understood where I was coming from about how, you know, we need to be conscious of, of how we carry ourselves because whether, regardless of what we do, we're going to be perceived as it being for others. Uh, always be your best, be the best version of yourself every day and Sunday. And, and that was something that, you know, we, over the years, we talk more and more about, and, and, you know, she's made some tremendous, uh, strides and impacts. And, you know, the one thing we, we often talked about was that, you know, there's no sacrifice for success. Uh, you, you have, there, there's something that you're going to have to give up in order to get 
that that ring, that prize, that whatever it is that you want. And she, to her credit, she made the sacrifices she needed to do. She modified some things to to better, frankly, give herself a, a chance to be great. Uh, that was my biggest fear for her was that she wouldn't get an opportunity for her greatness to shine. And I give her all the credit and all the praise for figuring out what she needed to do, when she needed to do it, and executing whatever that plan was to the fullest. And now she's just such a badass boss lady. Uh, and, I, I, and I love that about her. Uh, and so that's why, again, I, I when we talk, I mean, we can her now. We can joke about it now, uh, mm -hmm. and we joked about it at her wedding, you know, uh, like last year. That uh, we we've come a long way in our relationship <laughs> uh, from that you are not my daddy look uh, to where now we 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 actually we we can laugh it off. But I remember that day, sh there were no laughs, there were no <laughs> kiki ha ha moments. That, that was day. real. That, that was, was real. real, but but she understood that that was real love. Um, and that I didn't come at her because I was mean. I came at her like that because I I'm meaning her to get better, and I care for her. Uh, and that's you know, and and Mike, you know how I mean. I, I'm I'm like that with a lot of folks. I mean, you know, there's a reason why Kwani and I are doing a podcast together. Um, that was completely intentional, uh, 100 intentional. I only talked to one person about being a co-host, and she was it. And to me, that was the one thing that when, when put it together, I just did not w have any intention of negotiating or debating that or trying to compromise. No, I needed her um, because I, me, more than I needed her, she needed that opportunity. And uh, and, and Kwani, she's doing a great job and I love working with her. And uh, again, that's, you know, I, I this is like one of my favorite months because it gives me an opportunity to talk you know, people who mean a lot to me, like Kwani right. and Jamel. And there's a long laundry list of folks. Yes, uh, and, sure. and, 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 and you know, as, as much as I love my black people, uh, white people, there's some white people that I'm cool with, too. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, like like earlier today, you know, we, we and actually it's, it's up on, on all your podcasting apps now. And along with this is our latest episode where we talk to Doris Burke. And we mm. talk about, you know, again, we get into just women, you know, Women's History Month. We obviously talk Celtic stuff as well. But, you know. That was a conscious move on my part to try to get her in the month of March because that's Women's History Month. Yep. You know, we, we we need to do better by our women. We need to celebrate them, acknowledge them, give them their flowers, which you guys are doing now, which I thought was a great idea. And uh, I just may happen to sample this uh, for our episode next week. Course, and I will course. give credit with credit hey. is due because that's what we do. Appreciate you. Uh, <laughs> but uh, this this was a great this was a great idea to have this part of the conversation. I do appreciate that. I think I think it's and it's men of color to you know really come out and you know give out our flowers and show show respect to the woman because they don't they don't care it or get it enough so that's what we're right. trying to do here in Dublin and thank you for that shout out to you know Jamel Hill and Kwani Lewis for sure 